Well, I was looking around the office and I found this amplifier for boosting 2.4 gigahertz. Actually, this is for Wi-Fi. But after doing the antenna mod and uh, seeing this here in the office sitting around doing nothing, I was like, well, if you're not overdoing it, you're not doing it enough. So, this is supposed to have a transmit 12 dB gain. We'll see if I can actually, well, we'll see what we get out of this, I guess. Um, comes with these two wires. And here's the transmitter. I found this extra antenna. Um, basically, I'm only going to hook up one of these to the to the radio, to the transmitter. Uh, this is made for uh, Wi-Fi for two antennas, so I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. Normally, you like connect the two antennas on your router. That's how this was designed to may be made. Um, let's see. I really, I don't know what brand this is. It says made in Taiwan. Uh, I think I've seen these selling on Amazon. I'm not sure how much they are. Anyway, um, before I get started, I took this back apart. I can unscrew this other antenna from the previous mod. Um, but one of the things I didn't do in my last video was I only made this mount right here finger tight. I didn't actually tighten this up. So, before I get started, what I'm going to do is take a ratchet wrench. This is actually a 5 16 And tighten up this nut on here pretty dang tight. Yeah, that's pretty tight. Uh, otherwise, it can, it'll spin the whole wire around and it could really cause you some problems. So... So I just want to put that back in there. Maybe. Alright, like so. And then I'm going to put it back together. I wanted to just show you that the antenna can be changed uh, with the unit put back together. You don't have to disassemble it. At least I don't have to for this connector or the other antenna. So I can just easily change this back now that I have tightened down the nut in there and it just screws back on in there it's actually tight yep it's tight and well, I'll show you how this is gonna go before I put it back together basically we take our wire here screw that in And this is going to be going into right here, like so. Now this has a, here's the power for this. It's actually a 9 volt, 2 amp. Um, so, not sure how practical this is going to be. Um, I suppose you could make a battery pack out of some D-cells or uh, maybe even a NICAD pack or maybe there's a lithium pack that's 9 volts, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of playing around. So uh, I just want to see if this would actually work. Let's see. So I put the controller back together and if you want to see how to do that check out the part 1 video. And I hooked up the radio and the antenna on just the one channel. I decided to hook it up on the same side as the power. I'm not sure if it'll make a difference or it's gonna work. I hooked in the power. Uh, I see that the green light didn't come on. But if I turn the power on here, the green light comes on. So let me see that again. Yes. So when I turn on the controller, the power light's coming on on there. And it looks like it's gonna work. Uh, let's get the quad and uh see if we can get it to bind. So I have the quad and let's turn it on. And turn on the controller. And light is on on our power booster. 
and let's mine. And we're bound. Yeah! <laughs> well, it works. Not sure what the range will be or if I can use this practically in the field. Um, maybe we'll do a part three. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful.